hi introvert room it's Tony so I'm gonna do like I guess a quick video on a quick video on like I guess my progesterone and stuff like that so the progesterone worked so um now that I know that it works after like one round I can go for it with like planning kind of like what to do right so essentially I have three months worth of progesterone that I can take um I feel pretty good I haven't taken the vitamins and stuff like that for like a few days so I will go back onto them but I feel like pretty like steady and stuff like that but I just want to be consistent and so yeah um one of the things that I am gonna go to my doctors about is um just just like a whole bunch of stuff needing to go I'm getting my like checkups my gun is locked I know checkups and stuff like that and then another thing that I'm kind of excited about is like when I menstruate I like to free flow and so at night I free flow um and that's like a thing for me I don't know there's something about doing that that I feel at peace with not restricted all that kind of stuff and so doing the progesterone and then menstruating it's just kind of like hmm and another thing with this whole um this whole like flow is that I'm getting I guess back online with my body and type of my body what it wants so one of the things that I know that I do when I am about to like come on with my cycle is that I eat a lot of foods I eat a lot more but then I also crave a lot of foods that are like sources of iron so I eat a lot of collard greens I eat a lot of um I'll eat a lot of lamb I like meat I you know so things that I know have like iron sources and so the progesterone is like helping me to like menstruate and bring my body online and I don't know if I'm like I'm comfortable with that but I don't know how comfortable I can be with that when it comes to like long term I just kind of feel like I don't want a long term be on progesterone and could feeling like I'm having an artificial like bodily response like like it's not I guess it's not artificial, but it's not authentic in that it's not my own body doing this stuff. That it's having this assistance, which is fine, but there is, I don't know, I guess it's maybe a little bit of shame behind that. That like I have to use supplementation currently to um, enter the latter phases of the menses cycle, right? To actually menstruate. And then what com kind of comes along with that like feeling like okay look if I don't do this then I'm not gonna have it you know will I be consistent will I like have like issues again like at some point will this stop working and then I'll just kind of not have anything like you know, if I lose weight, will that help? Um, I have lost weight since, and it still hasn't helped. So, what I'm learning about it is that PCOS is a lot of hormone type things, and so, um, with the project knowing that I have to take progesterone, I am looking to kind of see what can I do to regulate my hormones so that I don't rely on this because I just I personally don't want to rely on progesterone like okay I'm a type 2 diabetic and stuff like that like perhaps like that'll be the stuff that I have to like take medication for but I don't feel like I don't feel like this is a dysregulation within my body that I can easily accept because it's like I have all the components <laughs> to where I shouldn't um, 
but yeah like I just been thinking about that like getting coming online with the body and what it needs eating it nourishing what it needs and then kind of thinking about what do I do to move forward so that I can have like a healthier menses healthier cycle healthier kind of like circumstances regarding that and I do think I'm going to start looking into like hormonal health, herbalism for hormonal health. I've already kind of started looking into it, but herbalism for hormonal health, hormonal kind of like indicators of stuff, dysregulation, dis-ease, um, getting into kind of being more attuned with my body, being less um, disassociated from it. And so those things I think will help me a little bit more I'm really excited that the progesterone worked for this cycle because sometimes it doesn't the only thing is it because of my hydrogenitis it upsets that sometimes and then that becomes a whole issue as well because it, it it in itself is also a hormonal type um like dysfunction right so it's kind of like but yeah i am thinking about these things meditating on these things i'm excited about it i'm excited about free flowing um like i said i tend to free flow at night and it was something that i started to do because i just felt like one i'm not a tampon user i just i the concept of it just is very uncomfortable to me. I feel very plugged. I feel very, like, just ugh, bottled up. For someone with PCOS, I kind of have enough, like, blockages going on um, hormonally, and I just don't want to add to that. But another thing is that at night, I kind of just want to just rest and be, be me. Um, the only thing is, I know in the past, I've I had like in my like mid-ish 20s I had like a really heavy flow and that was like a big that was like a big I can't free flow with this like I can't free flow with this but I think as I've gotten older um it's not so like heavy as to be disruptive um so I'm gonna start doing that again I don't know there's like you know, when you have PCOS and you're in the season of menstruating, it's like you have to make all these accommodations again. And it's because, and because you're not on the same schedule as other people, um, it feels weird. Like, I have to get back into the swing of having something that other people have, like, every month. And almost like you have to, like, relearn your own body whenever you come back online with PCOS. Um, it's just a strange kind of like dynamic within your own body that you're like, <sighs> another topic, another thing I'm interested in is eventually making my own pads. I still use Honey Pot. There's some brands that I saw, but they're generally the ones that I like already reviewed. So it's kind of like, well, Unless I go online and like look up that products and like order them. There's nothing really new with that. Um, but I really, I do want to make my own like reusable pads. That is something on my list. I just, I feel like I do want to move towards a more sustainable option. I do want to move towards something that... I don't know I feel like in doing that it'll kind of also help me get attuned to my own body like the act of making something for my own body will get me in tune to my own body and I have a video that I should make about making clothes because that's what I'm doing currently I'm learning how to make clothes and that also is kind of like a in tune with self kind of moment and so I'm in this phase of PCOS coming online getting in tune free flowing learning Knowing that my body was changing because I needed to eat meat and collard greens, which are sources of iron, and all these little ways in which I'm coming in tune with self. And so, 
that's basically it as far as in tune with self. I am going to continue with the supplements. I can feel the difference. I haven't had supplements in like two days. I can feel the difference. I feel a little bit more tired, a little bit more foggy, a little bit less clear, just, you know, a little bit more disorganized, stuff like that. So I do want to get on it with that again. And, um... That also, I feel like, will help cramping and stuff like that. Oddly enough, like, I don't have as many cramps as I used to when I was younger. I used to have cramps, like, bad cramps. I used to have cramps, like, my booty hole, like. <laughs> but I used to have cramps, like, around there. Like, if that's how bad it would be. They weren't just so debilitating as I had to, like, miss work ever. But, like, if I wasn't active, they would be very, like, they would hurt a lot. But if they, if I was sitting down... It would be like very intense. That's another thing. But uh, I'm in that space. I'm in that cycle again, literally. And so um, we'll kind of see where that goes. So I'm going to stop this here. Thanks for watching. I'll pause you guys like later. Bye. <laughs>